Hello, this is Prince of Somnia, and welcome back to more Let's Play Dragon Quest VI. Last time, we enlisted in the Somnian military and are up here at Guardsbane Tower in order to complete our trial in order to be accepted. And in this episode, we're going to finish off our trial by talking to this guy, because he's guarding the real item that the uh, big guy is looking for. Now, what he's saying here about trying again by going and bulking up, uh, if you do that, you'll throw the match, and you'll end up losing to the big guy with a mohawk. So I'm just going to try and take him out on here. If you're new at the game, you want to be level 7 before challenging him. Uh, otherwise, we're just going to have to kind of take him on ourselves. But anyway, uh, let's see. Now for this, if you use the Seeds of Agility, you actually run the risk of going faster than Garrett, uh, which can end up screwing you in the end. Uh, but I didn't, so Garrett is actually faster than I am, at least in theory, and should always end up going first. There's an element of random to it, randomness to it, of course, but it should help us out by enabling us to get more bang for our buck with our healing. And he has even more fight or hit points than the tower sentry that we fought earlier, and he hits harder as well. So it can be a little bit difficult to deal with. A lot of bit difficult to deal with. But anyway, yeah. So basically all you want to do is, it, just like the tower sentry fight, you want to keep hitting him, and then when you get to uh, 26 or lower hit points, you want to use a medicinal herb so that he hits you, and then you recover the HP and get more bang for your healing buck. Now, okay, so, uh, now with his attack pattern, he has a chance of doing a normal attack, a chance of doing a slash attack, which does slightly more damage, uh, a leg sweep, which can stun you for a turn, and he has a small chance of doing absolutely nothing. The good news is that if you're level 7, you will learn- yeah, that's the violent slashing attack that does more damage. And there's the leg sweep. Um, so he's basically shown his entire arsenal. The good news is that if you're level 7, he has no resistance at all to the sap spell that you learn at that level. And since the sap spell lowers his defense, it'll enable you to hit him for a lot more damage. And it kind of makes the fight much more easy than it otherwise would have been. Otherwise, uh, if you didn't have quite as many good boosts to resilience as I did from the seeds, or if you aren't as high leveled as I am, you might struggle with this fight a lot. There we go. Well, we get good experience out of it, if nothing else. I thought it was gonna level up there. Wow. Wow, that was him going easy on us, huh? You could have killed us, dude! And we get the Restless Heart. Let's see. Is that in our bag or in our inventory? It's in our inventory. Um, well, it's an accessory that increases our defense. That's pretty neat. Alright, now that we have the Restless Heart, that's actually the item we came here looking for. Uh, so we can go ahead and leave. If you just wanted to throw the match, leave and come back, and Carver will be the one to have defeated uh, Garrett and taken the Restless Heart. But yeah. Now that we've done that, it's time to return victoriously to Somnia Castle. Well, the first recruit has returned. Rex, right? So, what did you bring back for me? Go on, give it up. Yes, the Restless Heart of Somnia. 
This charm represents the tireless devotion of all who protect the kingdom. Outstanding work, Recruit! As promised, I hereby grant you all the rights of a Somnian soldier. Let it be known, as of today, Rex is officially a soldier in the Somnian Royal Military. You're part of an elite group now, be proud! At ease for now, soldier. Feel free to acquaint yourself with the castle until you receive further orders. Of course, if you find someone in need, help them! A soldier of Somnia is never truly off-duty. Hooray! We win! Again, we don't get anything special at all out of doing that. We don't even get to keep the Restless Heart, but... I mean, we won. Okay, so we basically have free reign over the Somnian castle right now. Um, there's not a whole lot we can do here. There's not even really items we can get here at all. Um, but I could just show it off, talk to the people, and grab the item that I really care about. Mini Metal number 3. Um, also, now that we've dealt with the whole Garrett fight, it's safe to use the Seeds of Agility and boost Rex's agility. Nuts. Nuts! Okay, well, we had to pay for our success in some way or another. Twice as many meals. That sucks. No, I don't think I met the king. Mm, okay, okay, we'll go make our name for herself. There's nothing downstairs besides the prison, um, and there's nothing down that stair- there are those stairs besides the vault. Um, what do the books have to say, actually? I'm curious. Nothing... The Mysterious Metal King. Hmm, maybe someday we'll meet this metal man. Nothing here. There's just as much nothing as there was before I accidentally pushed the A button. Another quotable slime. Oh no. No! No! What do you call a robber hiding in a suit of armor? A thief in the night! I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna leave. Good night, everybody. Episode's over now. But anyway, one last thing. Oh. Well. You know, I really... I really thought that was gonna work, but apparently not. Yeah, we don't have any business with a king, so we actually can't go and introduce ourselves to him. But if we did, there is an item in his room that we could take. It's probably a bad idea to do so, but... Anywho, let's talk to this guy. Oh, our kingdom for a worthy horse. This wagon has been in the royal family for generations, but now we can't find a beast to pull it. Not just any old nag will do, why the wagon's guilt alone weighs a ton. Surely there's got to be a decent horse around here somewhere. Have you seen any with a bit of get up and go in them? Really? Splendid! Bring me this beast post haste. We can't let this splendid cart rust away in the courtyard. What would neighboring kingdoms think? Well, I, I guess we can go look for a horse. You know, we did actually hear something about a uh, particularly ornery and muscular horse that mauled a guy somehow. Okay, there we go. North of the bridge out west. Okay. Well, let's go and look. Uh, we actually have to do this, by the way, to progress with the plot. Hey, wait up! Oh, it's the, uh, the, the, the guy with the mohawk. I was looking all over for you, Rex. Congrats on becoming a soldier. Talk about a dream job. I bet you're going out to wrangle that Mustang, eh? That ain't no one-man job, Rex. Believe you me. 
How about we team up on this one, I? Me and horses, we get along, you see? No, no, no. I, th this is my job. Aw, oh, don't be such a stick in the mud, Rex. I wouldn't dream of letting you go it alone. It's settled then. A start of a beautiful relationship and everything like that. You and me are gonna have a blast, Rex. Hardy har. And now we have a new party member, Carver, who has as much HP as we do, or almost as much HP as we do at half the level. <laughs> uh. Hooray! So now we're no longer traveling alone. Awesome. As you can see here, uh, Carver has no style. <laughs> um, and his magic ability is non-existent, and he is slow as molasses, but he hits like a goddamn trunk, almost having as much strength as we do at half the level, again. And he also takes a lot of hits really well, too. Uh, he's basically your, well, basic fighter kind of archetype. Now that we have a party member, uh, the miscellaneous menu has a little bit more to offer for us. If we go to lineup, we can change the order in which our party members are organized. Now, at the moment, we have to—you have to use ever, uh, as many party members as as many party members as you can. We don't have like a, a bench to warm them up or anything like that. But, um, but yeah, uh, you can organize them however much, however you want, basically whenever you want. Uh, even in battle, you can change your lineup uh, pretty freely. If you press the B button outside of um, just by walking around, or if you hit the talk button, uh, after certain events in the story, or certain conversations with NPCs, Carver will have something to say, or occasionally have something to say. And you can have a conversation about him, about, you know, the events that are going on in the world, so... Additionally, we also have the tactics menu. Uh, Carver right now is set to follow orders, but there are a few other tactics we have. Uh, Show No Mercy is pure offense. He'll keep on using the most powerful abilities he has, regardless of his MP, if he had any, or any other resource, to deal as much DPS as he possibly can. Don't Use Magic does nothing for Carver, but it does what it says it would if the character actually had any magic to use. Fight Wisely uh, is a mix of attack, defense, and using status affecting moves. It's kind of like letting the AI sort of think about what move would be probably the best to use. Focus on healing is uh, what it says it does. They will focus on recovering your HP. Uh, they will focus on healing you and making sure the party is as close to full as they possibly can. Uh, and Watch My Back does something similar to focus on healing, but they will prioritize defending at full health over healing other party members. And then there's Follow Orders, the best one of the lot, where they do literally everything you tell them to by direct input of command. And that's the one I'm going to do. But anyway, I just wanted to do a quick ex little explanation of uh, everything. Now we want to head this way, not towards Hagleton, but just to the south and more west of Somnia than anything, and see what we can do about this horse. You may have noticed that Carver's equipment is a little crap right now. Um, I'm going to deal with the horse situation first and then scrape together some cash in order to, you know, get some better gear for him. Ooh, we got a preemptive strike on these enemies, which uh, you can tell by them the game saying that the enemies don't notice our presence. It's basically such that the uh, we get a full free turn against them where they can't do anything to us, which is really nice. And Carver got a level up. A wild Mustang, huh? Ford Mustang? Is that what this episode's gonna end up getting titled? Well, Nade you too. And this is like the far fetched puzzle from Heart Gold and Soul Silver all over again. Except it doesn't seem to be getting us very far by chasing us after him. Okay, sounds like a plan. 
helpful bloke. I guess this really was a two-person job, huh? Isn't this a really bad idea? Like, wouldn't the horse, like... Like, feel threatened by this cornering and kick us in the balls or something like that? I guess she likes us, and that's why she didn't kick us in the crotch. How about Peggy Sue? That's, uh, not the greatest name. Quit your na- oh, wait. He actually is making the joke! No! <laughs> uh, good night, everybody. It's over now.